Afrikaans is one of the official languages of South Africa. It is a West Germanic language spoken in South Africa, Namibia, and to a lesser extent, Botswana and Zimbabwe. It evolved from the Dutch vernacular of South Holland spoken by the mainly Dutch settlers of what is now South Africa, where it gradually began to develop distinguishing characteristics in the course of the 18th century. Hence, it is a daughter language of Dutch, and was previously referred to as Cape Dutch or Kitchen Dutch. The term is ultimately derived from Dutch Afrikaans Hollands, meaning African Dutch. It is the first language of most of the Afrikaner and colored people of Southern Africa. Although Afrikaans has adopted words from other languages, including Portuguese, the Bantu languages, Malay, German and the Khoisan languages. An estimated 90-95% to of Afrikaans vocabulary is of Dutch origin. Therefore, differences with Dutch often lie in the more analytic morphology and grammar of Afrikaans, and a spelling that expresses Afrikaans pronunciation rather than standard Dutch. There is a large degree of mutual intelligibility between the two languages, especially in written form, with about 7 million native speakers in South Africa, or 13.5% of the population. It is the third most spoken language in the country. It has the widest geographical and racial distribution of all the official languages of South Africa, and is widely spoken and understood as a second or third language. It is the majority language of the western half of South Africa, the provinces of the Northern Cape and Western Cape, and the first language of 75.8% of colored South Africans, 60.8% of white South Africans and at 4.6% the second most spoken first language among Asian South Africans. About 1.5% of black South Africans speak it as their first language. Large numbers of speakers of Bantu languages and English-speaking South Africans also speak it as their second language. It is taught in schools, with about 10.3 million second language learners. One reason for the expansion of Afrikaans is its development in the public realm. It is used in newspapers, radio programs, TV, and several translations of the Bible have been published since the first one was completed in 1933. In neighboring Namibia, Afrikaans is widely spoken as a second language and used as lingua franca, while as a native language it is spoken in 11% of households, mainly concentrated in the capital Vindhoek in the southern regions of Hardap and Karas. It is no longer considered an official language of Namibia, but rather a recognized regional language. In 1990, 25% of the population of Indhoek spoke Afrikaans at home. Estimates of the total number of Afrikaans speakers range between 15 and 23 million. History Origin The Afrikaans language arose in the Dutch Cape Colony, through a gradual divergence from European Dutch dialects. During the course of the 18th century, as early as the mid-18th century and as recently as the mid-20th century, Afrikaans was known in standard Dutch as a kitchen language, lacking the prestige accorded, for example even by the educational system in Africa, to languages spoken outside Africa. Other early epithets setting apart KAAP's Hollands as putatively beneath official Dutch standards included Gerard Breakt, Gebroken, Ombachard Hollands, as well as Verkeerd, Nederlands. An estimated 90 to 95 percent of Afrikaans vocabulary is ultimately of Dutch origin. There is a degree of mutual intelligibility between the two languages, particularly in written form. Afrikaans acquired some lexical and syntactical borrowings from other languages, such as Malay, Khoisan languages, Portuguese and of the Bantu languages, and Afrikaans has also been significantly influenced by South African English. Nevertheless, Dutch speakers are confronted with fewer non-cognates when listening to Afrikaans than the other way round. Mutual intelligibility thus tends to be asymmetrical, as it is easier for Dutch speakers to understand Afrikaans than for Afrikaans speakers to understand Dutch. In general, mutual intelligibility between Dutch and Afrikaans is better than between Dutch and Frisian or between Danish and Swedish. 
the South African poet-writer Bree Ten Brayton back, attempting to visualize the language distance for Anglophones once remarked that the differences between Dutch and Afrikaans are comparable to those between the received pronunciation and Southern American English. Development beginning in about 1815, Afrikaans started to replace Malay as the language of instruction in Muslim schools in South Africa, written with the Arabic alphabet. Later, Afrikaans, now written with the Latin alphabet, started to appear in newspapers and political and religious works in around 1850. In 1875, a group of Afrikaans speakers from the Cape formed the Genus Skapver Regta Afrikaanders, and published a number of books in Afrikaans including grammars, dictionaries, religious materials and histories. In 1925, Afrikaans was recognized by the South African government as a real language, rather than simply a slang version of Dutch proper. Recognition Afrikaans was considered a Dutch dialect in South Africa until the early 20th century, when it became recognized as a distinct language under South African law, alongside Standard Dutch, which it eventually replaced as an official language. A relative majority of the first settlers whose descendants today are the Afrikaners were from the United Provinces, though up to one-sixth of the community was also of French Huguenot origin, and a seventh from Germany. The workers and slaves who contributed to the development of Afrikaans were Asians and Malagasies, as well as the Khoi, San, and Bantu peoples who also lived in the area. African Creole people in the early 18th century, documented on the cases of Hendrik Bibo and Patriarch de Ram, were the first to call themselves Africana. Only much later in the second half of the 19th century did the Boers adopt this attribution, too. The Khoi and mixed-race groups became collectively referred to as coloreds. Monument The Afrikaans language monument is located on a hill overlooking Pal, a Western Cape province, South Africa. Officially opened on 10 October 1975, it commemorates the 50th anniversary of Afrikaans being declared an official language of South Africa in distinction to Dutch. It was erected in Pal on the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Genus Skat Van Register Afrikaners an organization which helped to strengthen Afrikaners' identity and pride in their language. Standardization The linguist Paul Roberge suggested the earliest truly Afrikaans texts a doggerel verse from 1795 and a dialogue transcribed by a Dutch traveler in 1825. Printed material among the Afrikaners at first use only standard European Dutch. By the mid-19th century, more and more were appearing in Afrikaans, which was very much still regarded as a set of regional dialects. In 1861, L.H. Murant published his Zamenspraak Toshin Klaas Wazegger en Jan Twyfelaar, which is considered by some to be the first authoritative Afrikaans text. Abu Bakr Effendi also compiled his Arabic Afrikaans Islamic instruction book between 1862 and 1869, although this was only published and printed in 1877. The first Afrikaans grammars and dictionaries were published in 1875 by the Genus Skapva Regta Afrikaners in Cape Town. The first and second Bo Awards further strengthened the position of Afrikaans. The official languages of the Union of South Africa were English and Dutch until Afrikaans was subsumed under Dutch on 5 May 1925. The main Afrikaans dictionary is the wordy book van die Afrikaans Tal, which is as yet incomplete owing to the scale of the project. But the one-volume dictionary in household use is the Verklarende Handwoord e Boek van die Afrikaans Tal. The official orthography of Afrikaans is the Afrikaans Wordelies en Spelreels, compiled by Die Tar or Commissie. The Afrikaans Bible A major landmark in the development of the language was the translation of the whole Bible into Afrikaans. Before this, most Cape Dutch Afrikaans speakers had to rely on the Dutch Staten Bible. This Staten Verteling had its origins with the Synod of Dordrecht of 1618 and was thus in an archaic form of Dutch. 
This was hard for Dutch and Cape Dutch speakers to understand, and increasingly unintelligible for Afrikaans speakers. C.P. Hoochhout, Arnold Aspanovis, and Stephanus Jacobus Dutois were the first Afrikaans Bible translators. Important landmarks in the translation of the scriptures were in 1878 with C.P. Hoochhout's translation of the Evangelii Volgens Marcus. However, this translation was never published. The manuscript is to be found in the South African National Library, Cape Town. The first official translation of the entire Bible into Afrikaans was in 1933 by J. D. Dutois, E. Van Ruyen, D. Kestel, C. M. Forey, and B. B. Keat. This monumental work established Afrikaans's en were and ordent like taal, that is, a pure and proper language for religious purposes especially amongst the deeply Calvinist Afrikaans religious community that previously had been rather skeptical of a Bible translation that varied from the Dutch version that they were used to. In 1983 a fresh translation marked the 50th anniversary of the 1933 version and provided a much-needed revision. The final editing of this edition was done by E. P. Grainwald, H. Van Zyl, A. Verhoef, L. Helberg and W. Kempen. Geographic distribution. Sociolinguistics Some state that instead of Afrikaners, which refers to an ethnic group, the terms Afrikaanses or Afrikaansbrekendis should be used for people of any ethnic origin who speak Afrikaans. Linguistic identity has not yet established which terms shall prevail, and all three are used in common parlance. Afrikaans is also widely spoken in Namibia. Before independence, Afrikaans had equal status with German as an official language. Since independence in 1990, Afrikaans has had constitutional recognition as a national, but not official, language. There is a much smaller number of Afrikaans speakers among Zimbabwe's white minority, as most have left the country since 1980. Afrikaans was also a medium of instruction for schools in Bofuthatswana Bantustan. Many South Africans living and working in Belgium, the Netherlands, the United Kingdom, Republic of Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, the United States and Kuwait are also Afrikaans speaking. They have access to Afrikaans websites, news sites such as Network24.com and SAIC24, and radio broadcasts over the web, such as those from Radio Sondegrenz and Radio Pretoria. Afrikaans has been influential in the development of South African English. Many Afrikaans loan words have found their way into South African English, such as Baki, Bri, Nachi, Tekis. A few words in Standard English are derived from Afrikaans, such as Aardvark, Trekspur, Velt, Commando from Afrikaans, Commando meaning small fighting unit, boom slang and apartheid. In 1976, secondary school pupils in Soweto began a rebellion in response to the government's decision that Afrikaans be used as the language of instruction for half the subjects taught in non-white schools. Although English is the mother tongue of only 8.2% of the population, it is the language most widely understood, and the second language of a majority of South Africans. Afrikaans is more widely spoken than English in the northern and western Cape provinces, several hundred kilometers from Soweto. The black community's opposition to Afrikaans and preference for continuing English instruction was underlined when the government rescinded the policy one month after the uprising. 96% of black schools chose English as the language of instruction. Under South Africa's constitution of 1996, Afrikaans remains an official language and has equal status to English and nine other languages. The new policy means that the use of Afrikaans is now often reduced in favor of English or to accommodate the other official languages. In 1996, for example, the South African Broadcasting Corporation reduced the amount of television airtime in Afrikaans, while South African Airways dropped its Afrikaans name Suid Afrikaans Lugdienst from its livery.
Similarly, South Africa's diplomatic missions overseas now only display the name of the country in English and their host country's language, and not in Afrikaans. In spite of these moves, the language has remained strong, and Afrikaans newspapers and magazines continue to have large circulation figures. Indeed, the Afrikaans language general interest family magazine Hewish Janut has the largest readership of any magazine in the country. In addition, a pay TV channel in Afrikaans called Kynet was launched in 1999, and an Afrikaans music channel, MK, in 2005. A large number of Afrikaans books are still published every year, mainly by the publishers Human and Russo, Tafelberg Utkewis, Struck, and Protea Berkhewish. Afrikaans has two monuments erected in its honor. The first was erected in Burgersdorp, South Africa, in 1893, and the second, nowadays better known Afrikaans language monument, was built in Pal, South Africa, in 1975, when the British design magazine Wallpaper described Afrikaans as one of the world's ugliest languages. In its September 2005 article about the monument, South African billionaire Johan Rupert responded by withdrawing advertising for brands such as Cartier, Van Cleef and Arpels, Mont Blanc and Alfred Dunhill from the magazine. The author of the article, Bronwyn Davies, was an English-speaking South African. Modern Dutch and Afrikaans share over 90% of their vocabulary. Afrikaans speakers are able to learn Dutch within a comparatively short time. Native Dutch speakers pick up written Afrikaans even more quickly, due to its simplified grammar, whereas understanding spoken Afrikaans might need more effort. Afrikaans speakers can learn Dutch pronunciation with little training. This has enabled Dutch and Belgian companies to outsource their call center operations to South Africa. Current status Post-apartheid South Africa has seen a loss of preferential treatment by the government for Afrikaans, in terms of education, social events, media, and general status throughout the country, given that it now shares its place as official language with ten other languages. Nevertheless, Afrikaans remains more prevalent in the media, radio, newspapers and television, than any of the other official languages, except English. More than 300 book titles in Afrikaans are published annually. South African census figures suggest a growing number of speakers in all nine provinces. A total of 6.85 million in 2011 compared to 5.98 million a decade earlier. The South African Institute of Race Relations project that a growing majority will be colored Afrikaans speakers. Afrikaans speakers enjoy higher employment rates than other South African language groups, though half a million remain unemployed, despite the challenges of demotion and emigration that it faces in South Africa. The Afrikaans vernacular remains competitive, being popular in DSTV paint channels and several internet sites, while generating high newspaper and music CD sales. A resurgence in Afrikaans popular music since the late 1990s has invigorated the language, especially among a younger generation of South Africans. A recent trend is the increased availability of preschool educational CDs and DVDs. Such media also prove popular with the extensive Afrikaans-speaking expatriate communities who seek to retain language proficiency in a household context. After years of slumber, Afrikaans language cinema is showing signs of new vigor. The 2007 film Aumushe Slim Kind, the first full-length Afrikaans movie since Paljus of 1998, is seen as the dawn of a new era in Afrikaans cinema. Several short films have been created and more feature-length movies, such as Pina is Koning and Backgate have been produced. Besides the 2011 Afrikaans language film Schoonhide, which was the first Afrikaans film to screen at the Cannes Film Festival, the film Platterland was also released in 2011.
Afrikaans seems to be returning to the SABC. SABC3 announced early in 2009 that it would increase Afrikaans programming due to the growing Afrikaans language market and their need for working capital as Afrikaans advertising is the only advertising that sells in the current South African television market. In April 2009, SABC3 started screening several Afrikaans language programs. Further latent support for the language derives from its depoliticized image in the eyes of younger generation South Africans, who less and less often view it as the language of the oppressor. Indeed, there is a groundswell movement within Afrikaans to be inclusive and to promote itself along with the other indigenous official languages. In Namibia, the percentage of Afrikaans speakers declined from 11.4% to 10.4%. The major concentrations are in Hardap, Karas, Oromo, Komas, Omaheke, Okchos and Jipa, Kunena, and Oshikoto.